Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Today I'm going to talk about skewness and kurtosis. What all points I'm going to cover in this video? Few important characteristics of normal distribution. I have a separate video on normal distribution. For details, you can check out that video. Link I will give in the description box. Then I will discuss what is skewness, positively and negatively skewed distribution, tricks to remember skewness. Mostly students when sit in the entrance exam, they get confused between positive and negative skewed distribution. So I will give you some tricks to remember that. Then kurtosis, types of kurtosis, positive and negative kurtosis. Again, I will tell you the easy trick to remember kurtosis. Last important thing, what does skewness and kurtosis tell us? And what to do if our distribution is non-normal? Starting with normal distribution, which is also called as no skewed distribution because there is no skewness in this distribution. Normal distribution is a bell shaped curve. As you can see, it looks like a bell. It is called as bell shaped curve. In normal distribution, mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1. Mean here is 0 and standard deviation is 1 in case of normal distribution. Normal distribution is a symmetrical curve. That means if I divide the normal distribution into two paths, 50% of the data lie on either side. Mean is equal to median is equal to mode in case of normal distribution. Here mean, median and mode are equal when there is normal distribution. Now, in normal distribution, the data is symmetrical. Either side data is 50%. But if for some reason data is shifted towards right side or the left side, in that case, that asymmetry of the data, asymmetry of the distribution, measure of that distribution is skewness. Skewness is the measure of asymmetry of the distribution. In normal distribution, both the tails are identical. But if one tail is longer than the other, then skewness measures the relative size of the two tails. For example, marks of students in a class test. Suppose uh, there is a test of 100 marks and difficulty level of the test is very low, very less. In that case, students find it very easy. Mostly students will get high marks. And there will be few students who will get less marks. In that case, our data will shift towards the right side because most students get high marks. Our data will shift here and only few students will come here who will get less marks. In that case, our distribution will not be symmetrical. It will, the data will shift towards the right side and there will be a bend in this tail in the left side or the negative side. So, this will become negatively skewed distribution in that case. Again, vice versa, if marks of the students will be less in that test, if the test is difficult, difficulty level of the test is high and mostly students will get less marks, in that case, our data will shift towards the left side here and there will be only few students who will get good marks, high marks in that test. So, in that case, there will be a shift of the data towards the left side. Our distribution again will become asymmetrical and there will be a bend in the tail towards the right side. That distribution will become then positively skewed distribution. In the positive side, if tail is bent, then it is a positive skewed distribution. If the tail is in the negative side bent, then it is negatively skewed distribution. In positively skewed distribution, mode is less than median is less than mean. I discussed in normal distribution, mean, median and mode, all three are at the same point, all three are equal. But in positively skewed distribution, mean and median are pulled towards the positive side. Here, mean and median are pulled towards the positive side in positive distribution. More the skewed distribution is, more the difference between the mean, median and mode. If our distribution is less skewed, then these mean, median and mode will be closer to each other, but they will not be at the one point. 
always mode will be less than median median will be less than mean in case of positively skewed distribution similarly in case of negatively skewed distribution mean and median are pulled towards the left side now in this case mean is less than median is less than mode because mean and median are pulled towards the negative side now interesting tricks to remember the skewness first thing you need to remember is if a tail is directing towards the positive side that is positively skewed distribution here tail is directing towards the positive side this is positively skewed distribution if a tail is directing towards the negative side that is negatively skewed distribution so this is positively skewed and this is negatively skewed and this is normal distribution both the tails are identical and data is 50% on either side now second thing you need to remember about mean median and mode i told you in normal distribution here mean median and mode are equal in positive distribution mean and median are pulled towards right side as i told you so mode is here at the same point but mean and median are pulled towards the right side this is median and this is mean again in negative distribution mean and median are pulled towards the left side again this is mode this is median and this is mean now you come across a question when you sit in the entrance exam uh, there will be a question like if mean is less than median is less than mode which type of distribution is it Uh, whether it is no skewed distribution whether it is positively skewed distribution whether it is negatively skewed distribution you will get the uh, multiple choice question students get confused sometimes so this is a easy trick to remember you can just recall this uh, graph in your mind mean and median if on the right side in this case because it is a positive side in this case mode will be less than median will be less than mean and because this is the left side and mean and median are pulled towards negative side mean will be less than median will be less than mode and just remember the order mean median mode mean median mode so in positive skewed from the positive direction you need to mark in negative skewed from the negative direction you need to mark and you can just quickly attempt that question moving towards kurtosis kurtosis is caused by variability in the distribution there can be a case when a data is closely packed in the distribution or there can be a case when a data is spreaded off in the distribution kurtosis is measure of whether the data is habitated or lighted in comparison to normal distribution it is measure of outliers in the distribution not as peak or flatness of the curve which you find in many books in many books it is written as kurtosis is measure of flatness of the curve or kurtosis measure of thickness of the curve actually kurtosis is measure of heavy or light tail of the curve in comparison to normal distribution as you can see in this graph all the three distribution are normal distribution but still they are not look alike there is difference so what is that difference that measure the kurtosis types of kurtosis first is leptocurtic if a data is closely packed in comparison to normal distribution then there will be a peakness in the curve that curve will become thin from the center that curve is called leptocurtic curve here this is leptocurtic curve next is mesocurtic curve mesocurtic is same as normal distribution third one is platycurtic curve when a data is spreaded off this blue curve is platycurtic curve when a data is spread off throughout the distribution and it becomes flat so you can remember it through the name plate flat plate it becomes platycurtic moving towards positive and negative kurtosis when tails of the distribution are heavier or thicker but center of the distribution is thinner in comparison to normal distribution that is positive kurtosis as in case of leptocurtic a center is thinner this is positive kurtosis next when tails of the distribution are lighter or thinner but 
सेंटर ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज थिकर इन कंपेरिजन टू नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट इज नेगेटिव कुटोसिस इन कंपेरिजन टू नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ सेंटर इज थिनर दैट इज पॉजिटिव कुटोसिस एंड इफ सेंटर इज थिकर दैट इज नेगेटिव कुटोसिस दिस इज नेगेटिव कुटोसिस Take to remember kurtosis is first this thinner curve is leptocortic, next is mesocortic which is normal distribution and third flat curve is platycortic. You can just remember it from L M P which is alphabetical order. If you get confused with the names, many students when attempt the question they get confused about which is leptocortic or which is platycortic. In that way you can just remember the order L M P. which is alphabetical order from this lmp order you can remember the name leptocortic mesocortic or platycortic now the most important thing is what does cuneus and cutosis tell us why we need to calculate cuneus and cutosis in many data analysis like parametric test there is a prerequisite condition of data set to be normally distributed the calculation of cuneus and cutosis we can keep check on this in many test there is a condition for the data to follow normality so we can check through cuneus and cutosis whether the data is normal or non normal cuneus tell us the direction of the outliers it can tell us whether the outliers are in the positive direction or the negative direction also it does not tell us about the number of outliers Similarly, cutosis also tell us about the presence of outliers in the tails, whether the tails are heavy tailed or it is light tailed. Cuneus and cutosis tell us the cluster point of the data set. That is, at what points most of the data is located. If a data, if in case of positively skewed distribution, we can see a data is clustered on the left hand side, and in case of negatively skewed distribution, a data is clustered on the right hand side what to do if distribution is non normal okay we got it a data is skewed or have high kurtosis value then what to do if distribution is skewed non normal it is recommended for researchers to use non parametric test instead of parametric test because all the parametric test follow the rule of normality of data set so in case of our data set is not normal we should go for non parametric test because there is no such condition of normality of data set thank you if you like my video give thumbs up and your comments are always welcome thank you